The popular series Toy Hunter is now a fun attraction. It's based on the new episode, Cork Goes to Hell, that's not yet released. In other words, in this attraction you'll be able to find out what happens in the new episode of Toy Hunter before anyone else. In the last episode, our hero, Cork, the Toy Hunter, had defeated the Cactus Man of Mexico, and no one had seen him since. The story begins where Cork returns home for the first time in three years after a long journey. His home is a toy box full of fun things. There, Cork is reunited with his fellow toys. He thought he could go back to living peacefully as his owner Henry's favorite doll. But that was not to be. Something unbelievable happens to Henry. As a result, strange things happen around Cork. Cork's new adventure is about to begin. This attraction is a storytelling attraction that accurately reproduces this new story, Cork Goes to Hell. Here you'll assume the role of Cork and make your way to the end while fighting against horrible enemies. This attraction is not something that you merely sit and watch. The characters that appear and the settings in this story are all real. So if the enemies get you, you will die. So come and enjoy Toy Hunter, as if your life depended on it. I like how the game's saying here, Oh, you want to know what the story's about? Well, we don't know either. How about that? Get out of here. Just, just pick your character. We don't know what's going on. So we're going to use Jorg for this level. Because he's the last character. We haven't used him yet. Just going to pick him right here. Oh, yeah. Right, so here we are in the entrance area for the final level, Toy Hunter. And this is the entry, yes, we can't enter without a ticket, so we're going to buy a ticket. And Toy Hunter is considerably different than previous levels. I mean, it still has traps, it still has enemies, but it's different in a very important way. And we're going to get a horror monitor from the horror monitor vending machine here. And we're going to get a handgun from the handgun vending machine here. Those don't actually exist. How delightful. So here's a Toy Hunter thing and we're gonna get our ticket from here because we need a ticket to enter the the attraction and suddenly dummy man dummy man is taking one final shot at us this is the last time we're actually gonna see him in the game so we'll give him a good fight we won't just run away dummy man is not difficult here because we've got a gun and he's got a wrench gun will generally trump wrench like I said, Toy Hunter is, is different. And we're actually only going to see York for this one fight here. We'll see why we're not going to be seeing him later on. Oh, yeah. Alright, so there's our ticket. So now let's enter Michael Reynolds' uh, hit TV show for kids. It doesn't, Michael Reynolds doesn't seem like the type of guy who would be doing kids programming, but whatever, let's go in. Now as we enter Toy Hunter, this is the place where the game 
uh, it, it starts to starts to make not a lot of sense. boys and girls isn't it fun to be me yeah I'm having fun too now I'm gonna tell you how to play the game so listen carefully you're about to enjoy toy hunters new story cork goes to hell well I know you have no idea what the story is about and don't think you can learn as you go now uh -uh. why well, before I get into that, it'd be a good idea to check out this here horror monitor. I'm sure you already know what that blinking light is, right? Yep, it means a weapon is hidden. Then, how about this? This is called a story mark. What does this mean? Well, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure it out. <laughs> that's right. Whenever this story mark shows up, that means the story is hidden at the spot. Now try to get close to the place which indicates the story mark. Some kind of event will happen and parts of stories will be revealed to you. But be careful. Some events out there can harm you. In other words, you have to bet your life to get to know the story. If you're almost dead and too weak to get more of the story, use cautious action and do what you can to avoid the event. The drawback to that is you won't uncover the entire story. Also, have you noticed that one of the stage's conditions has changed from traps cleared to story? This is when you'll receive a monetary reward based on how many stories you saw, not how many traps you cleared. Just remember this and you won't get confused. Hey, what do you think of these settings? Do you like it? By the way, if you'd like to see the instructions again, I wrote them down and put them on the ticket booth where they're yours for the taking. Okay, good luck, boys and girls. If you're a real cork like me, you can get through anything, no problem. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah! So we're Cork. Yeah, we're Cork, and it's a combination of Woody from Toy Story and Indiana Jones. So yeah, this is this level, it's it's a parody of Toy Story for some reason. I don't know why there is a Toy Story level in this game. It's completely out of tone with the rest of the game. But yeah, that's what this is. And the gimmick of the level is that the story of the game is uh told through shock events. And they'll show up on the horror monitor as story marks. You don't want to tag the story marks, otherwise you will not activate the cutscenes. It's possible if you tag all of them to go through the level without seeing cutscenes. But of course we don't want to do that, we want to see the cutscenes, so we're not going to tag them. Now Cork said that you bet your life to watch the story. I don't really know what that means because there's no consequences to watching the cutscenes. Nothing happens. Um, I mean, I think there's one cutscene where it ends with a fight starting, and if you don't watch that cutscene, then there's no battle. And I think that's the only one that has any kind of consequence uh, to watching the cutscene. So I don't really know what they're talking about when they say that there will be, that you bet your life to watch the story. I don't really see what that's talking about. But those are the instructions right there. So now it is time to enter Toy Hunter. 
And the story of Toy Hunter, as you saw, was that Cork is returning back home after three years after defeating the Cactus Man of Mexico. And he's returning to his toy box with all of his toy friends and his toy girlfriend and his toy life. And we'll see some story marks here. And that's one of them. And that's another. And hey, it's Marie. That's a third. So we'll, we'll take a look at the one on the left first. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Good night, doll. Night, night, Marie. Oh, uh, sweet dreams, Cook. <laughs>